Hello everybody, my name is Sammy the Great and welcome back to the survey. Now in the last episode we found out that Lilith has a rare disorder that is making everything in her body turn to bone. And we are we are getting close to finding out what really happened with this and why we have come back to this house and just so many questions that we have about this game. So we are waiting for the next hint and whenever the next hint comes on then I will show you guys and we will continue this game. So, it's a beautiful day for YouTube, so let's get into this game. Let's go. Alright, five seconds until our next hint. Alright, I'm ready for it. I'm ready to go up against Lilith. Let's hit it. Alright, enter the small bedroom. Turn on the TV, AMD. Listen to the message. Pick up the note outside the door. Okay. We have to go into the small bedroom. And listen to the message. Turn on the TV and listen to the message. Okay. This small bedroom. According to a oh, recent hi. poll, infidelity is at an all-time high. Uh -huh. This may be due to marrying too young, lack of commitment, or even financial instability. Let us examine the story of Joseph and Mary Walker, oh. the two married and bore a daughter, Lilith, who was very talented in many artistic mediums, mm -hmm. especially in painting. Joseph and Mary also had a son named Marcus. Mm -hmm. Joseph worked as a construction worker, while Mary worked as a secretary for a local business. Soon after discovering Lilith's talents, her parents encouraged her greatly to continue and perfect her skills. Eventually, a high enough demand for her paintings allowed the Walkers to become financially stable, simply mm -hmm. by selling Lilith's art. Yeah. Both Joseph and Mary quit their jobs, as Lilith's paintings sold anywhere from $5,000 to $15,000 a Man. piece, depending on the buyer. Man. Due to this high demand, Joseph and Mary began to live life far above their means, taking advantage of their gifted child in order to satisfy their own greed. Mm -hmm. It started off with Joseph burning markets with cigarettes if Lilith refused to work. Oh my goodness. Slowly, the abuse became worse and more intense, until one episode landed Marcus in the hospital. Marcus had several bruises along with a dislocated arm. The family was forced to cover up the incident and no charges were filed. Huh. This abuse continued for a long time. Marcus grew accustomed to it. It was simply a part of his life. Just as much as breathing or sleeping. Mm. After Lilith was diagnosed with a rare bone condition, everything changed. She lost her ability to paint, leading the family into a period of financial hardships. Mm -hmm. Joseph wasn't able to find work due to his alcoholism, but Mary was able to find a job at her old company. Her former employer kept in touch with her throughout the years. Oh, okay. Tension began to build within the family. Marcus usually remained passive among family affairs, but the situation gave him much joy. They were suffering, and he knew it. He couldn't have been happier. He couldn't have been happier. He couldn't have been happier. Uh huh. He couldn't have been happier. Oh, hi. Oh. He couldn't have been oh. happier. Oh, hi. He couldn't have been happier. Oh, the door shut. Oh no. Um. I couldn't have been happier. Why did the door shut? Okay, I'm just gonna turn you off. Um, I'm very glad that you gave me that message. That was very nice. Can I turn you off, please? Please? Can I turn you off, please? Okay, well, that's not turning off. Well, joy. Alright. Oh no. Hey. Lilith. Lilith, please. So basically, that just gave us a background and basically retraced everything that we've went through. I mean, that's just so sad for Marcus and Lilith to have to go through that. I mean, ugh, I can't imagine. Oh, no. Oh, she's knocking on the door. Hey, Lilith. We can work things out, girl. I know you're crying. Just please, don't kill me. All right, all right. Let's, uh, be brave, Sammy. Be brave. Hello? Hello? Please? I can't even open the door! 
Okay. I'll just I'll just stay in here. You can uh I'll stay in here. Anything in here? Oh, hi. Hey. Whoa. Hi. No. I really don't want to go out there. But okay, I, it looks like we can open the door now. Oh, hey. Mm. Lilith. Hey, you out there, Lilith? Lilith? Okay. I'm just going to pick up this note now. And I'm going to read it. Okay, Lilith note number five. May 25th, 2015. My parents gave me the news. So I have this condition called... I would butcher it if I tried to say it. Basically, it's a condition where my soft tissue, ligaments, tendons, and muscles gradually turn into bone. They said that eventually I'll lose mobility in my arms, leg, neck, and everywhere else until I... I'll need a caretaker to basically do everything for me. Right now, I feel I feel it in my arms and my torso. For now, I just sort of stay in my bed. It hurts to walk around, and I can't really exercise or damage my body in any way else. It'll speed up the process. I mean, I'm only 15, so this is a lot to take in, knowing that I'll, I'm slowly becoming more and more immobile. It's a bit ironic, isn't it? I wish that I could stop painting or that I wouldn't have to anymore. This was the answer I received. The best they could do was prescribe medication for the pain. A year from now, there is a good chance that I won't be able to walk and I'll be in a wheelchair or worse. I just hope my family will be stable without my help. I'll be a pretty big burden. The other day, I overheard my parents arguing. My mom brought up the idea of getting a divorce. I feel like this is all my fault. Lilith. She's like, she's happy that she doesn't have to paint anymore. But... She's sad because she has this disease that's going to, like, ruin her life, basically. And, like, at the, she wished that, you know, she would break a bone or something like that. And she got her wish. But, I mean, it's just so sad that her family made her paint and that they abused Marcus if she didn't. And that, I mean, they both had very bad lives. And, I mean, they just must have felt, she must feel really bad because, I mean, they're wanting to get a divorce now, but, and it's, it's, I don't know. I mean, it's just, it's really sad. It's really sad that they both had to go through this. Oh, hi. There's another note. Okay. Why was, oh, hi. Hey, whoa. 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 Hey, whoa, whoa. Lilith. Why did the music get like that? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I do not like this music. Hey, Lilith. Lilith, I've told you. We can work this out, girl. Where you at? Oh no. Marcus, you gotta run, man. You gotta Oh hi. Hey. Whoa. Okay. Um Lilith. Oh gosh, Lilith. I am so slow in this game. If she comes at me, I'm screwed. Alright. Oh my gosh, I don't like this music. Alright, I am just gonna shut the door. I can't shut the door. There we go. Ah, hopefully she's not in here. That would be bad if she was. Okay, now I'm going to read this document. All right, good. The music stopped. All right, Marcus note number three, May 20th, 2015. Overheard them talking about what Lilith's condition was. Apparently she has some sort of bone disorder. Basically her body be keeps becoming more and more immobilized until she's basically paralyzed. The process can take a while, but it continually gets worse and worse. They seem... They seem very worried about it. As far as I know, Lilith won't be able to paint. I wonder what will happen. Mom and Dad were screaming at each other the other night, or the other day. I've never seen them argue like that. It was quite entertaining seeing them bicker and yell. I had a wide grin across my face as I watched the spectacle. My parents have been trying to find work ever since they heard the news, but only my mom has been able to find a job with her old employer. Dad hasn't had any luck. This is quite an unfortunate situation. I did a bit more research on the condition, and it seems incurable. My parents seem like they're in a state of panic. I've never seen them like this before. Frantic, scared, and unstable. I have never been more excited in my life. Huh. So Marcus... Marcus is actually happy about this. And, I mean, I could see why. I mean, he doesn't like his parents. At least he doesn't like his father. So whenever he sees his father in a panic state and in pain, then I guess it... It symbolizes, hey, you've had me in so much pain, 
these past years or however long this has been going on, the abuse has been going on, that you're finally getting a dose of your own medicine. And I can see where he's coming from, but at the same time, that would affect him too, wouldn't it? You know? His father not being able to get work. I don't know. But, oh, this is a screwed up family. I mean, they're just, I feel sorry for, I feel sorry for Marcus. I feel sorry for Lilith. Because their father really does sound like an abusive person. And the mom's not much better. I mean, she may not be abusive with her actual physical... She may not be a physically abusive person, but she is definitely emotionally and mentally abusive to those kids. Alright, so the next hint is coming in right now. Pick up the note in the hallway and the note in the washing machine room. Then head downstairs and pick up the note in the dining room. Okay, I picked up the one in the hallway. I picked up the one in the washing machine. I have to go downstairs now and pick up the one in the dining room. Alright, so there's the note. And where's Lilith, huh? Where you at, Lilith? I know I'm gonna pick this note up and you're gonna be like, you're gonna come after me. I know you are. Alright, pick it up. Oh, hey. Hey, Lilith! No! You are freaking. Oh, Lilith! Lilith, please, 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 please. You are a. F oh my gosh, what are you doing? Hey, oh my gosh that scared me so bad like I know it's gonna happen but it still scares me oh no okay can I read this note real quick is that possible Marcus note number four August 2nd 2015 my mom showed him the divorce papers and he was livid I never seen my dad this frustrated his bloodshot eyes trembled in fear because he knew he was powerless against her decision he kept taking beer bottles and smashing them against the, the kitchen table after he heard the news. She said she was tired of having him drink, just drinking all the day and not contributing to the family at all. I left a little surprise for him in the car. He'll find out when he's, when he's driving. Well, for now, I guess it'll just be Mom, Lilith, and I. She asked me to get a part-time job since we'll need the money to help with Lilith's medical bills. I don't mind working even though I'm still in high school. I'll be pretty busy, I guess. I'll just have to deal with it. It'll be hard, though. I went to the doctor the other day, and he examined my shoulder. It turns out I've had a torn rotor cuff for a while now because I've never been able to get it checked out because of Dad. I haven't been able to rotate my arm past 90 degrees without feeling this tearing sensation on the back of my shoulder. Thanks, Dad, I guess. In the end, everyone, everybody gets what they deserve. Marcus. Yeah, he's really he's really salty towards his dad, and I don't blame him. I'd be salty towards his dad too, man. He's like, you get what you deserve, dad. That's what you. Hey, oh, jeez, you scare me to death, painting. Good God, it is you laughing at me over there? Uh, no, but I guess I yeah, everyone gets what they deserve, I guess, and he just definitely deserved that. Who turned back on the water? How many times do I want to turn this water off? We ain't paying the water bill. We already got we already got Lilith's medical bills we gotta worry about. Turn that light on because Ooh, shoes, okay. Alright, there's another note. Hello? Hey! Oh, hey! Oh, oh. No! Oh, it's getting tense! Oh, it's getting tense. Suicide note, October 3rd, 2016. It's been hard the last year. I've been working overtime almost every week at my job ever since the divorce just to cover everything. Lilith. Well, she was bedridden and relied on Marcus for just about everything. Marcus was attending college and working at the same time. I went on a business trip for about a week and I didn't get the news until I came home. The house caught on fire. I, to I was told that Lilith died a, hor a horrific death, burning alive as the flames consumed her. They said the fire started in her room, most likely by a candle that was tipped over. The neighbors they said all that they heard was a haunting scream like an animal that knows its death is approaching. Everything is gone. My kids, my house. Did I deserve this? I was so blinded by greed. I'm a horrible person. I let my son be abused for years just to force my daughter to paint and make myself money. I guess Joseph got what... Oh, guess what? He got what is coming, and now it's your turn! I know it's a... Ah! What? 
So the mother is now regretting what she did. She actually seems like she cares now. A little too late, but... I mean, better late than never, right? Lilith! So Lilith is now haunting everybody. Is that what happened? Okay. I don't know where to go! So yeah, the mom is... Oh. Back with an update concerning our latest story. Okay, I'll shut up. A drunk driver was recently killed in an accident outside a local liquor store. Oh, really? According to friends and family, the man had been going through a divorce with his wife. Oh. Probably trying to drink his sorrows away. Uh -huh. He swerved off the road, crashing his car into a tree. Uh -huh. Officers have noted that there might have been tampering involved with the braking system of the vehicle. Marcus! The individual suffered greatly while dying. I know a certain someone that would be happy to know so. Don't worry, I'm stuck as well. This was Joseph, bringing the local news to you. That was Marcus. Remember when he said that he wanted to, that he could tamper with the braking system? He did that. He killed his dad. I guess he got... I guess he, I guess he did get what he deserved, I guess. I don't know if he deserved death. He deserves some jail time, definitely, but death? I don't know about that. Oh my gosh. They just had, they just had a awful life. My goodness. And now the mom, she's like, she's grieving over what she did and how her greed got the best of her. Okay. Alright, alright, I'm just gonna pick up this note. Maybe read it, if you'll let me. Oh, no, no, oh, 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 uh oh. Why that door shut? Okay, I'm just gonna read this note real quick. Lilith Notes, number six, March 3rd, 2016. It's been almost a year since I've been diagnosed. It's gotten worse recently. I'm losing control of my hands, so it's getting quite difficult to write. One day I wake up and I'm unable to move a certain body... A certain part of my body. It's a bit hor horrifying. Where is that music coming from? Oh no! Oh no! Uh, it's a bit horrifying having all of your muscles, ligaments, and tendons slowly turn into bone. Marcus has been taking care of me. I feel like I'm such a burden to him. On top of school, his part-time job, and oh no! Oh. And taking care of me, he seems to be busy. Mom's been working overtime almost every weekend just to help with my medical bills. I mean, we have insurance and we still have some money left over from the paintings, but I'm still, it's still getting pretty tough to pay for everything. I can't walk anymore, so I'm pretty much conf confined to my bed most of the time. My favorite part of the day is when my brother comes and checks on me. Hopefully he'll never, hopefully he'll never read this. This is embarrassing, but I feel like, like I'm holding him back. After dad died, he just seems... He seems so much more alive. I guess he got what he deserves, but is this my punishment too? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, you can kind of see. Um. Can I turn the light back on, Lilith? Please? Oh, no, 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 no. And I can't get out of here! Oh, this is creepy. This is creepy. Do I just have to sit here and watch this? Oh my gosh. Oh, there she is! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no! What is she doing? Is she waiting on me? Because if she's waiting on me, she's going to be waiting forever. Because I'm not going out this door. Oh. Hey! Lilith! Hey! Ooh. Oh! Oh! No! I don't want to go out there! Ah! Monitor went off. Did you just want to unlock the door for me? Oh, it's... Oh! 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 Ah! No! Don't do this to me, Lilith! We were friends! We're brother and sister! I helped you out! Don't you remember? Okay. Is it safe to come out? 
You just trying to protect me, right, Lilith? Hey. Okay. Okay, no time. No time. All right, I see. I see how it's going to be. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Uh. Can we turn on some lights, Lilith? Okay, okay, I'm just gonna read this. Ah, right, Marcus Nut number 5, 2000, March 5th, 2016. I can barely keep up with everything. I was accepted into the university that I really wanted to attend, but I decided not to go through with it. If I did leave, no one would be here to take care of my sister. If I'm being honest, I wish I could leave. I want to move on. I just want to forget about her. Mom, Dad, and all of them. I've decided to... Oh! 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 I'm sorry! Ah! Oh! I don't want to! I don't know what to do! I'm so confused! Ah! Okay! Okay, you just... You just... You have your burdens to tend to. I have mine! I'm just gonna read the rest of this note. Okay. I've decided to attend this community college first and then transfer to a university afterwards to save money. Also, I wouldn't I wouldn't be in a ton of debt after I graduated, so that'd be nice. Last night I saw something a bit disturbing. As I made my way to to my room, Lilith's door was slightly ajar, and I could also hear that high pitched scraping no sound. It was my sister scraping her nails against the wall. I turned on the lights and there was blood covering her hand, and she was running the tips of fink of her fingers across the wall up to the point where her fingernails were now loosely attached to her fingers she seemed okay I'm just gonna ignore that um, she seemed so out of touch with reality I looked at her other hand and it was bent in an awkward position her wrist bending towards her body while her fingers looked stiff this thing in my house I don't think this is my sister my sister was a painter a talented girl with an Im immense pos potential her eyes gradually turned towards me i felt then almost reaching out to her pleading for comfort i gave her none marcus oh marcus why did you do that did you not know that your sister was going to come back and haunt you did you not know this man so we didn't give her comfort is that why she's screaming at us right now why did we even come back to this house? Like, I thought we wanted to get away. So we must have went to college. And then we must have said, Alright, well, we're going to come back now and just see how everybody's doing and everybody's dead now. I don't know. Can I turn on some lights? Thank you. Oh, good. There's another note. Oh, joy. I wonder what this one has to read. Oh, no. No! Lilith! Lilith! Oh, good lord, no. Oh, why did that turn red? Oh, no! I can't see anything! Oh, there's another note down there. Okay, I think I can read this note real quick. Marcus, note number six. Mama's leaving, leaving for... A week. She's gone on a business trip, so she'll be leaving me in charge to take care of the house and my sister. I checked on her briefly, about once or twice a week, just to make sure she's still alive. I might forget to check throughout the week, though. It's such a chore taking care of her. Why can't she just die already? Am I wrong for saying that because of her talent? Her God-given talent to paint is destroyed our family. Without it, everything would be normal. In the end, everybody gets what they deserve. And she's getting her in right now. Dad received his. Mom is breaking her back just trying to meet, make me ends meet. That music is not helping me out. I wonder what my end will have in store. Who knows, maybe I'll get the worst ending of all of them. I realize that my hatred for her is wrong and unjustified. It wasn't her fault she was born with the, that skill. I feel guilty that, it, that I enjoy hearing and seeing her in pain. It's it. Oh my gosh. It's an immature reaction for so long I wished for someone to feel my suffering. I would get beatings almost every week with my mom and my sister just watching. It was almost entertaining thinking of what I could tell people at school when they asked about cuts and bruises. Now it's a little different, I guess. I'm in control and she's the helpless one. I don't really believe in a heaven or hell, but if one exists, I'll probably end up in the latter. Um... 
So we were taking care of our sister, and now we're enjoying her pain because we were in pain. Okay, so I can see why she may be a little pissed at us. And my gosh, everything's red. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this anymore, Lilith. I need to pick up this note. Oh, no. Hey. Oh, okay. All right. I'm just going to read another note, okay? Documents. Lilith, note number seven. This will be my last letter I write. I can feel my right hand becoming immobile and stiff. My mom... Mom left a couple days ago, and it's been up to Marcus to take care of me. Even though he's, his visits have been getting shorter and less frequent over the last few months, I understand, and I'm just a burden to him and my mom. He hasn't checked up on me ever since she left. I've tried everything, knocking and banging my hand up against the wall and screaming. I mean, that's all I really can do since I'm practically immobile. Sometimes I get my hopes up. Hearing him walk up the stairs, just maybe he'll walk through the door and check up on me. Did I deserve this for not standing up to my parents and letting all of this happen? All of this is my fault. I'm sorry, Marcus. I promise I'll never be a burden to you ever again. Lilith. Oh my goodness. Where do I go now? Oh my goodness. This just took a turn for the whole worst. I thought we were actually being kind to our sister, and we were, until we just got fed up with it. We just got fed up with everything. Marcus just got fed up with everything. He was tired of, of just all of having to take care of Lilith now and just having to be the actual father in the family. Oh, my flashlight's red too. Lilith, I am sorry. I am sorry that I abandoned you. But this is not the way to do it. This is not the way that we have to go out. We can be friends, all right? You don't have to haunt me. What's the hint? What's the hint? Enter the art room. Pick up the note. Head downstairs. Pick up the note at the bottom of the stairs. Turn off the radio. All right, so I got to turn off the radio. And then who knows what's going to happen. Hey, Lilith! Lilith! Lilith, baby! Baby! Lilith! Hey, baby! Mother Licker, you need to stay the heck away from me! Hey, Lilith! Lilith, I know, I know I abandoned you, but I'm sorry, Lilith! Lilith, no, please! No! No! Um. Okay. I want to say we died, but yet again, we're awaking. Oh, what is happening? What is happening right now? I have no clue. Oh, this is a crazy game. I thought that was the end right there. I thought she, that she had killed us. But apparently not. Apparently we were waking for the, like the fifth time. <clears throat> Everything is still red. So what do we have to do? Oh, there's a note. Alright, so let's read this note real quick, hopefully. This looks like it could be the last document. Alright, September 30th, 2016. Life is pretty quiet, to be honest, right now. Between school and work, it's... It's a bit stressful, but it's not as bad as before. Mom is set to come home in a few days. It is. It was nice having the, the house to myself for about a week. I'll admit, sometimes it gets eerie quiet. And sometimes I hear these soft knocks coming from the walls. The other time, I'll hear crying and sobbing, sometimes even screaming. It usually doesn't last too long, but, it, but still, it's a bit unusual. I have a strange feeling that I've got, forgotten something. Like I've forgotten to finish some sort of chore. Oh, well, it's probably... It probably isn't... Oh, no. What? The young woman was dead at the scene. After performing an autopsy, it was confirmed that the fire led to her death. But officials also found something strange. Her body was starving. What officials think occurred was during her final moments, as an act of desperation, she lit a candle inside her room and started to fire herself. Her younger brother, Marcus Walker, might have neglected her to such a degree. She chose to end her life to ease her suffering. Emotions ranging from jealousy, hatred, enviousness, and frustration might have drove him to neglect her, despite her cries for help. No. Due to her rare disorder, she was extremely immobile and uh -huh. required help for the simplest activities. She requested... 
acquired Marcus for everything. Yeah. Marcus might have held animosity towards her, as for almost his whole life, everyone had paid their attention to her. Perhaps Marcus wanted her to feel isolated and alone, an emotion he was very familiar with. Uh -huh. He wanted vengeance for a crime she didn't commit. Marcus's body was mostly unharmed, though he was not conscious at the scene. He was taken to a local hospital, where he currently resides. He is currently in a coma induced by smoke inhalation and has been unconscious ever since the fire. No one knows when, or if, he will ever wake up, or what he is experiencing. He could be experiencing nothing at all, or he might be suffering. The only living relative he had was his mother, Mary Walker, who committed suicide shortly after she heard about the incident. No! His father, Joseph Walker, was killed in a suspicious road incident where his brakes stopped working while driving under the influence. Due to his unusual situation, no one is left to decide whether or not they should keep him alive in his coma. Oh my goodness. Many may wonder whether he regrets his actions, whether he regrets neglecting his sister, starving her, <clears throat> and psychologically torturing her to the point of suicide. Oh my gosh. Others speculate that years of domestic abuse by his father Joseph, <clears throat> along with neglect from his family, left him psychologically scarred. Whatever the case may be, he tortured and isolated his sister. His sister, who loved him, and did everything necessary to protect him. Hopefully all members of the family get what they deserve. <laughs> in Marcus's case, he's stuck in his own personal purgatory. No. Stuck in a place between life and death, <clears throat> an eternity of suffering awaits him. Thank you for listening. This is no. Walker bringing your local news <gasps> to you. No. <gasps> what the heck? This just took a turn for the worst. Holy cow. Shut the door, shut the door, shut the door. Um. I don't even know what to say. Wow. Wow. What happens if I go and touch her? Oh my gosh. The survey. What a crazy game. Oh my gosh. Okay guys, so real quick, I just wanted to say <clears throat> what I thought about the game. And... My goodness. I mean, what a crazy game. Like, I don't know what it was about this game. I think it was just the atmosphere. But it just gave me the chills every time I played it. And, oh my goodness. I was just terrified. Every time that Lilith would come out of nowhere. I knew what she was going to do to me. But, you know, no matter how prepared I was for it. Every time that she jump scared me or she would come after me. I was still shaking in my boots. I was like, ah! No! Lilith, no! Don't do it, please! No, no! But, I mean, just the ending of it. Him being Marcus Us, being basically in a coma, he's in a coma, and he can't get out of it. And so he's basically stuck there, being tortured by Lilith. I mean, it just, there were so many crazy things in this game. And I guess everyone got what they deserved? I mean, that's that was the main point of it, was that everyone got what they deserved in the end. I don't know. It was a crazy game. And this was this was such a good game. This was such a good game. There was only a few problems that I had with it. Was the saving mechanic of it. I did not like it because you would get... It only saved halfway through. So if you, if you made it halfway through, then it would save. And then you had to play the rest of the half. And I didn't like that because, you know, I was trying to do episodes of it, you know? And so I would play a part of it. And then I would have to go back and play it again before I played the next episode, you know? And also there was, my person, my character was so slow. And I don't know if it was just a bug for me or if it was just a bug in general. But my character was so slow. It felt like I was a turtle going around. But, and then there was a there was a glitch where if I opened my phone, that sometimes it would kick me off and I had to restart that too. But other than that, the game was awesome. And I really enjoyed it. And like I said, the craziest part of it was just the ending. I don't know, it had me stunned. I couldn't say anything. I was just like... What? what is this? What is happening? And I felt sorry for Lilith and Marcus. And I just, the whole family was crazy. But, you know, 
the game was crazy. But again, I thank you guys for watching, and if you like, like. If you comment, comment. If you subscribe, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next episode. Goodbye.